I'm Ms. Artastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing a rather dizzy jellyfish. So grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, so we're going to be drawing a jellyfish. So excited right now, guys. All right, so cute. Let's make it, hmm, let's, oh, what if it's a, uh, let me think, let me think. Well, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Guys, so excited, okay. Here we go, jellyfish, so cute. Oh, let's make it a dizzy jellyfish. I haven't done something dizzy in a while. Okay, you got it. Finding black marker, black marker found. Okay, grab something, a mark maker, something to draw with, and we're gonna do our super cute jellyfish here. Okay, we're gonna begin with a curving line at the top of your page. Like a big rainbow. <laughs> Gotta add the sound effects. Always add sound effects. And of course, we need to give it some little frills. So we're gonna just do a nice little wavy line along the bottom. Boop! Connecty to the other sidey. At the top, we're gonna add a curving triangle because all curving triangles indicate shiny light. So that's gonna be the shine of the light there. Sometimes you can do a rectangle. That makes it look shiny too. It's just the way that the, if you actually look at a shiny object, maybe a light bulb or a glass, if you actually just look at the light shining on it, it kind of looks like these kinds of shapes and that's why we draw them like that. All right, we're gonna add a little frill here by adding a second little U in each of these little corners. And just by adding small details like that, it really adds a lot of detail and visual interest to our designs. So the more detail that we add, the more interesting it is to look at. And that's why we add detail. We want people to spend time looking at it. And if it's very simple and just one shape, they'll be like, okay, cool. It's a circle. But if we add more detail, it makes it more visually interesting for our viewers to look at it. Cause we want people to look at our art. We should be proud of it. It's something we want to do. All right, we're gonna add some Another frill layer here. I'm just moving my hand back and forth and making kind of like a, a loose scribble up and down. So the weir world's weirdest zigzag or wavy line to make a sort of frill. Now, how cool is that? It looks like it has a lot of texture, doesn't it? If you wanna add more texture, now you can add some wavy lines or zigzag lines in between there, or even some dashed ones, whatever you can fit. Now I have a thicker marker, right? So I draw with the thick sides as a chisel tip. But if I, if you look, when I turn it over, you see how much smaller it gets. And if I really, if you look like, okay, here, if I turn it this way, now you can see this tip is even smaller, right? So if you look at whatever you're drawing with, there's probably a part of it that's much smaller than the rest. And that's how you can make much smaller lines without having to go find something different to draw with. You can just find a different point. It doesn't matter if it's soft pastel or charcoal. Eventually you wear down an area and makes it a fine point. All right, that's done. Let's add some jelly arms. We're gonna add some spirals. Let's draw one, two, three spirals, spiral lines. And then we're gonna come around and add a second line parallel to that first except we want it to get narrower at the tips. So we're gonna add three jelly arms, making them big and then narrow. And don't worry if they're not exactly perfect because jellyfish are jelly. And their bodies move and change as they move and with the flow of the ocean. So it's all good. That's the point. It's all good. We oh yeah, got dizzy jellyfish. I forgot what I was gonna make. All right, let's add some other arms just by adding some wavier lines here and there. <laughs> Playing with the thickness and thinness of your mark maker. Get really loose with your hand. Be loose. 
Like I'm barely gonna touch this paper. Let's see what happens. Yeah, look at that nice loose marks on top of some solid marks. Love it. We got some nice expression in there. All right, before we add that dizzy face, we're gonna add whoosh, a couple lines here and there. All right, dizzy jelly on either side. Let's add some spiral eyeballs because it's dizzy. Now I got my shiny light here, so I'm just gonna skip over it like that. Whoa, that eye's way bigger than the other. There we go. Fix that. You can have little hints of worried eyebrows here by adding some thicker lines on a diagonal. Now it looks worried. Except it needs a mouth. A dizzy mouth, oh yeah. So let's do this. Six fake lines. Oh my gosh, it's a dizzy jelly. Okay, so cute guys, so cute. What color should a dizzy jelly be? What's this? Let's inspect. I'm gonna use this one. Ooh. Okay. I'm trying it. All right, pick something to color your jellyfish with. I'm gonna do a couple colors. What is this? Honeydew. It sure does look like honeydew. I don't wanna eat some honeydew. Or maybe I should draw it next. Hmm. That might be interesting. It's kind of a odd color. So pick something to color with, whatever you would like as a mark making medium. I am going to layer a few colors on this jelly because that's a pretty pale color. And you can grab whatever colors, your choice of colors that you want to color with and mark making coloring medium. You do you. And go ahead and color in your super cute jelly fish.
And once you're done, your lovely dizzy jelly is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.